People uh, ask the question, why integrated reporting? And what is different from integrated reporting than sustainability reporting and financial reporting? Well, the answer is that uh, back when we did King 2 in 2002, we recommended sustainability reporting. But what companies were doing was reporting sustainability issues in a silo. Integrated reporting is, on a, in a clear and understandable way, is to tell your stakeholders how the board has applied its minds collectively to the sustainability issues relevant to the business of the company, as water is to the beverage manufacturer. Has the company developed a long-term strategy so it has sustainable performance 20, 30 years ahead? There are market forces that are dictating this kind of reporting. For example, CRISA, which is this for responsible investment in South Africa, the financial institutions, one of the issues that trustees of pension funds have to look at before investing one's money, and it's the ultimate beneficiary's money, in the equity of a company, is has the board applied its mind and can you read from a report that it has a sustainable business plan going into the future. So for example, the beverage manufacturer, if it hasn't got a plan of recycling water, and its access to water, closest access is some 300 kilometers away and has to transport that water, this is a huge problem about the sustainability of that business. So one of the reasons of an integrated report is that the investor which today the major investor of listed entities on stock exchanges around the world is the pension fund. The trustees of pension funds have an enormous duty of care to their ultimate beneficiaries to ensure that they're investing in a business that's going to be sustainable in the longer term. And they cannot draw that informed conclusion just from the financial report or reading the sustainability report or just by a sustainability report which is bolted on to a financial report. One needs to see it integrated. And what is meant by that is that in reading the integrated report, one can draw the inference that the business is sustainable long term and you will actually be able to tell how the operations of the company's activities have impacted on society, the environment, and of course financially, both positively and negatively, and how the company is going to improve and enhance those positive aspects and eradicate or ameliorate the negative aspects, certainly in the financial year ahead. The long-term strategy doesn't mean the company has to uh, disclose confidential information. But let's go back to the example I was using. If the company says that in the next, over the next 10 years it's going through a whole process of reusing and recycling water and it's moving and it's building another plant closer to the source of water, from this the investor can draw a more informed conclusion of the sustainability of that business. Therefore integrated reporting has become critical and it is not something that is just unique to South Africa. There are governments around the world that have recognized this, that the planet is in fact in crisis. We have, we have three crises. We've got the financial crisis, we've got climate change crisis, and we've got an ecological crisis in that we've used the natural assets of planet Earth faster than nature can regenerate them. And when I say we, it's you and I individually, and it's also you and I as directors of companies and politicians on behalf of governments and members of public bodies. We've used the natural assets of planet Earth as if they were at no cost. We have to start, if there's such a word, monetizing these issues. We can no longer take them as if they had no cost. They've become critical to sustainability of society. For society, the question of food security and the shortage of water is a criti are critical issues. Companies don't operate in a vacuum they operate in the same milieu as society lives from day to day. And therefore, business cannot be carried on as usual. 
The great multinational companies of the world are following guidelines that have been set by the OECD and other companies and other organizations. And of course, the great companies have issued, for example, Unilever has issued its 10-year sustainability plan. And their plan is to move off the main grid so that they will produce their products worldwide, and they've got 3 billion consumers a day, off the main grid from renewable energy sources. But not only that, they're developing products so that you will be able to use those products using less energy and less water, for example. So they're tackling it from both angles. Integrated, when one reports, this influences behavior. So integrated reporting is absolutely critical because from the integrated report, you will see how the company is behaving. Is it behaving as a, as a decent corporate citizen, as a responsible citizen, and one that has a sustainable business into the future? As I said previously, there are many governments around the world that have already started mandating this kind of reporting. Denmark is one. Report or explain how your entity, notice entity, so not only a company, impacts both on the Danish society and the environment. The United Kingdom's Companies Act has been amended. France has got some regulations. Indonesia has passed regulations. The King 3 report recommends integrated reporting. It's now a listing requirement of all our listed companies. The JSC has been lauded around the world for being the first, but we're not going to be the first much longer, other companies or other stock exchanges starting to join. The World Federation of Exchanges has acknowledged that the JSC has adopted the correct course and it's on the agenda for the meeting of stock exchanges in October. At the World Economic Forum, which is on the 27th of January, the redesigning of corporate reporting is being discussed with world leaders. So there is, as it were, tsunami coming. History teaches us that corporate reporting has changed when there have been great global events and global crises. And especially accountants are aware that corporate reporting has changed when there were great global events such as the Great Depression, the, corp the corporate scandals of BCCI and Maxwell in the United Kingdom, Enron in America. The crises at present are much deeper and much greater. The ecological crisis, climate change crisis, the financial crisis will pass. Capital will be restored, but natural assets once spent cannot be restored. So companies have to learn to make more with less and have to carry on business as unusual. And we as stakeholders need to read reports to make sure the company is doing just that. Thank you very much.